because, as you said, look, it's about protecting the playoff there. JT Daniels, a couple other Georgia players, they have now tested positive as well. Over at Alabama, you have Bill O'Brien, Doug Maroner testing positive, Nick Saban confirming that today, coming out saying, look, we're going back to our protocols from about a year ago, wearing masks everywhere, social distancing. I mean, are, are you concerned about the playoff where it stands right now, or can these teams keep it together? I mean, I think you have to have a little bit of concern just with everything that's going around right now with the cases spiking across the country and it impacting sports. But I also think that with those games being so important and with so much on the line, like you said, Nick Saban, they've re-implemented their you know, protocols from last year. Everybody's got to wear masks in the office. You could see these teams go into somewhat of a slight bubble situation of their own as they get into prep for these games coming up next week. And I wouldn't be surprised if they take that kind of approach. But with Bill O'Brien and Doug Marone, Nick Saban also said that they're both expected to be back in time for the games themselves. The bigger impact will be in preparation for the game because not having your offensive coordinator and offensive line coach in the building for a week while you're preparing for a playoff game is probably going to be a detriment. That said, it is still Alabama, and they are still by far the most talented team in the matchup, so who knows if it'll have an actual impact on how the game is played, but it does upset the process, and we know how much Nick Saban believes in the process and does not like having it disrupted. So it's going to be an interesting scenario to follow for all four teams in the playoff over the next 10 days. Tom Fernelli, we appreciate it. Uh, we'll hear much more from you and everybody, of course, about this on the Cover 3 podcast. Uh, something else, of course, to keep in mind, Brandon, it, it, it's up to the players a lot. Last Girl. year, a lot of things were closed. This year, there's parties, there's families. Holidays. Those players have to take this very seriously if they want those teams to stay healthy. Hear more about it on the Cover 3 pod. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.